Hello students, in this video we'll see how to compute several Maclaurin expansions. Let's recall that the Maclaurin expansion tells us that this will be C0 plus C1 x minus x0 plus Cn x minus x0 to the n. This series goes on forever. And here the Cn are the nth derivative of the function at the point x0 over n factorial. These are our Taylor coefficients. And these are our Taylor series. And in the case when x0 is 0, we call it the Maclaurin series. So let's find find the Maclaurin expansion of f of x, which is 1 over 1 minus x. We can write this, of course, as 1 minus x to the negative 1. So I need to compute all the derivatives of this function and plug in 0. So I know that f of 0 is equal to 1. And then we need to compute f prime. So what's f prime going to be? f prime of x is going to be negative 1 minus x to the negative 2 times a negative 1. And so we see this simplifies to 1 minus x to the negative 2. f double prime of x will be negative 2, 1 minus x to the negative 3 times negative 1 by the chain rule, which is 2, 1 minus x to the negative 3. f triple prime of x will be Negative 3 times neg negative 3 times 2 is going to be a negative 6. 1 minus x to negative 4 times negative 1. So I'm going to write negative 6 as 3 times 2 and leave it as 3 times 2 and make it even simpler. 3 times 2 times 1, x to negative 4, so we can see the pattern. And it looks like if we do 4 derivatives, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to have a 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 1 minus x to negative 5. And now we can find a general formula for this. So the general formula is that the nth derivative of this function at x will be n factorial 1 minus x to the negative n minus 1. There's one more n here than there is over there. So that's the general formula. Now in particular, this tells me that fn of 0 will be n factorial 1 minus 0 to the negative n minus 1. So no matter what n is, this will just be n factorial. So n factorial is a general formula. So this tells me that f prime of 0, we can look over here, f prime of 0 will be also equal to 1. f double prime of 0 will be equal to, oh, let's see, f double prime of 0 is equal to 2. f triple prime of 0 is equal to, f triple prime is going to be a 3 factorial all the way down to fn of 0 is n factorial. And there's our general formula. So now we look back at our coefficients. So our coefficients cn have to be of the form the nth derivative at 0 over n factorial. But we've just seen that the nth derivative at 0 is n factorial itself. So this is n factorial over n factorial, and that is just equal to 1. So our cn's are equal to 1, and that tells us that the expansion 1 over 1 minus x is just the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n. Now we can see by the ratio test, so the ratio test tells us that the absolute value of x n plus 1, that's my n plus first term over x n, the limit as n tends to infinity has to be less than 1 for this to converge. And so we see that the x to the n's will cancel out. And so we see that this convergence will occur only if x is less than 1 in absolute value. So this is a valid representation of the function 1 over 1 minus x if x is less than 1 in absolute value. So this is our Maclaurin expansion of 1 over 1 minus x. And this, of course, is our geometric series. Geometric series. Thank you very much.